Welcome back once again to howtocookgreatfood.com. On the menu today, as you can see here, piping hot, just this second finished, we're going to be making Chinese fish and mushrooms. Now I'm using a trumpet mushroom, or well, it's got many names indeed, or the king oyster mushroom. I'll leave some information below about different types of mushrooms. This is absolutely wonderful. Let's go and take a look at the ingredients that we need. So let's get started by looking at most of the ingredients here. So there's our fish. Now I'm using a dory fish. That was a frozen fish. I defrosted it and I've just cut it into nice chunky pieces. Here we've got our mushrooms. Now you can use any type of mushroom that you want. I'm using these Trumpet Royale. They've also got loads of other different names. They're also known as a King Oyster. There's one just there. That's a whole one there. And I've sliced it up a couple of times as you can see in there. Onion, ginger, garlic, fish sauce. Always use a very small amount of fish sauce because it's very, very salty. Green onions, soy sauce, oyster sauce. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to prepare our fish and get that fried. So we've got our fish. I've got some cornstarch or corn flour, which is the same thing. It's just called different names. One egg and some black pepper. You could be adding salt to this if you want, but we've got soy, oyster and fish sauce, which is very salty. So I don't find it necessary. What we're going to do is simply is mix all this together in a bowl. So I've got a mixing bowl there. I've got a nice rubber glove on so I can get in there. We're simply just going to drop that egg in whole like that. The cornstarch or corn flour. And a nice big pinch of black pepper. We're just going to work that together and then we can get over to the cooker. See you in a moment. Okay, so I've got a wok here and I've got about three centimeters of oil. I'm using a sunflower oil. It's nice and hot. There's our fish. We're going to just grab this out and drop it in. And we're going to go for about four minutes. I'm probably going to do this in two batches. Then we're going to set them aside on some kitchen paper. This is going to be absolutely wonderful. Okay, absolutely beautiful that is. I'm going to fetch them out, get them on some kitchen roll, kitchen paper or something like that. Then I'm going to go ahead and do my second batch and then we're ready to move on so this has just been about four to five minutes very very easy beautiful see you in a moment Okay, so our fish is now ready, as you can see. I've taken it off the uh, kitchen paper, just gets the excess oil off it. We can now move on. So I'm using the same pan and the same oil. I've just reduced it down massively. There's just a little bit of that oil in there. That will have a nice fish flavor to it, so we want that. We're gonna start off by dropping in our garlic and our ginger. Nice and chunky cut. To that we're going to add our onion and as you can hear we're on quite a high heat I'll see you in about two to three minutes keep this moving all the time now okay so our onions garlic and ginger are just doing their thing 
Next up, we're going to drop in our mushrooms. Now, you can be using any type of mushroom if you want. If you can't get hold of these, you can just use some regular type white mushrooms. These have got a lovely flavour. To that, I'm going to add some black pepper. And again, not adding salt to this because we're about to add three liquids that are very salty. I'll be back here in about two to three minutes again. Keep this moving all the time now. Fabulous stuff. Okay, we're going to add a little bit of water, cold water. We're going to add that fish sauce, and like I said, fish sauce, incredibly, incredibly salty. So be very, very careful. Soy, I'm using a light soy sauce, and equal parts of oyster sauce. If you want, you could be adding some chopped red chilli into this. I'm going to stay away from that today. That's looking fantastic. Very simply, we're now going to drop in our fish. And staying on this high heat, we're going to throw this around for about three to four minutes to get some lovely flavours onto that fried fish. We've nearly done it. Okay, off goes the heat. That is delicious. Let's finish that off with some green onions or spring onions, whatever you call them. One more stir and we're done. That is fabulous. Hope you enjoy that. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Do leave us a comment, say hi, we'd like to hear from you. Subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Lots of love.